Welcome to Dr. Jester Runs, and I'm going to rant about something that I've been watching. <sighs> it's called the TV show La Brea. Well, um, it's uh, a quick summary. It's a tar pit in LA that suddenly collapses in a sinkhole, and they go and travel to the past. I generally like those themes, time travel and things like that. I kind of enjoy them and the paradoxes it generates. But the biggest problem here that I want to rant, it's not about that, because the overall idea of the show is good, it's solid, it caught my attention, but it's what they are doing with it. That is my problem. Yeah. Well, let's discuss about that, because it's bad. The show overall, in the first four episodes, you actually saw the wokeness in it. It was bubbling, kind of like, like a diarrhea inside a toilet. It bubbles, something like that. You see it in the wokeness, but overall, you could actually ignore it for the most part. It was the gay couple, or the implied gay couple, sorry, interrational gay couple, um, the queer dude which we suspect it is, uh, the evil white males, and all the non-whites being absolutely good characters, pristine, and everything like that. Um, completely ignorable. It's possible, as in, the story is good enough to actually make you ignore those things. It breaks the immersion here and there, because I'm kind of getting used to it, no, with modern day television as of late, but no, no, let me show you the, the wiki page here. This is what you get. Right. Right. Let me go and show it there. And I get to episode five, which they do the good old bait and switch. You expected the show to be okay, you know. In wokeness, but on the episode five, they they upped the ante on wokeness and contradicted the story. Everything in the story. Christ, this is why you don't hire diversity hires. Right. Let me say why. Uh, it may include some spoilers, so be warned. Alright. Let's go. In the first episode, they, they don't believe the guy actually sees the past, so he tries to find uh, some evidence, and he discovers an, a ring from his ex-wife, carbon dates it, and shows it to a Indian woman, who then, oh my god, I can't believe it's the past, and things like that. And in the next few episodes, it shows them trying to find a pilot to fly a plane inside the hole to save the people. Right, so far, okay, fine. So far, so good. Uh, that they actually had a few of those events in the past. That um, they, um, they since uh, um, they studied, but they uh, don't address anything else. And we get episode five. Suddenly. <sighs> Suddenly, that Indian woman <clears throat> goes to a place, and suddenly, there, there's a, actually an earthquake. Sorry, that was in the previous episode. There's an earthquake and things like that. <clears throat> because the pilot went into the airplane and caused a problem. And they don't know. Anyway, in this episode 5, she's in, in a farm with another woman, apparently a scientist, who studied the, the, first, mm, the first event that happened to them, which is apparently the fourth known one. <clears throat> and this woman... Yes, this woman suddenly actually knows that the airplane actually causes problems into that. Hole. And the Indian woman knew about it, and yet, as you can see in the first four episodes, apparently she was not aware of that problem. That when the airplane went through the hole, it caused a, caused a problem. I don't know. You know, those techno bubble. 
<sighs> it's so goddamn fucking tiring dealing with this. But suddenly she knows, and they have a new airplane that doesn't actually cause that problem, and they need a pilot, which they wasted <clears throat> on the first few moments because they sent the pilot on the problematic airplane that they knew would actually cause the problem. And then suddenly, she seems to actually know everything that went to the past. And they actually went there to study it in the, mm, a few years ago. They sent a team to study. If you knew th those events, then why did you act like you didn't know about it on the first episode? Right. And then suddenly, this woman that is researching actually uh, has, for quite some time, digging where the survivors landed 10,000 years ago, digging artifacts from that time. And she knew all about it, including this Indian person. And why did you actually force the guy to get the, uh, the evidence of the ring to actually convince others to go and search for the survivors? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <sighs> it's so irritating. But the, the best of all is that you have an overrepresentation of gay people in there. Right. Now that Indian woman is actually a lesbian, and her fiancé is down there too. Somehow she actually knows now. Fuck. Me. How in the hell do things like this get through? Jesus Christ, people, stop. Uh, no, 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 no. To make a point, take a look. They started quite well. Obviously, the show always loses about some points in viewers from the first episode to the next. You can actually see here on the 6.37 and they went to fire, fine. And it continues and it increases because the show was actually quite interesting up to this point. And then they, they expected more interesting stuff happening on the fifth episode, which was something to answer the cliffhangers on the episode 4 and I was looking forward to it and then suddenly it follows everything that I just told you about the contradictions and the wokeness and guess what happened to the next one they lost more than a goddamn fucking point and this is not something that uh, it was like a month of hiatus or something like that because look at this October 26th and November 2nd. It's not like they changed anything. Why? It shows that people tuned out out of that wokeness. And they couldn't even recover what they were having on the second and third episode up until the last episode. This is why. This is why when you go woke, you go broke. It was tolerable. The wokeness was tolerable on the fourth episodes that we had. And then suddenly they go completely contradictory, erasing everything from the previous episodes and they insert even more wokeness. At this point, I think they believe that the world is 50% alphabet. I, and they actually think that every single show actually has to have a single alphabet representation at the very least. Look, there is nothing wrong with it, I understand. I am a pretty big alphabet supporter myself. But uh, it's just too much. You have, let's take the American numbers, which says 5%. Right now, I think the TV shows, Hollywood thinks it's 50% of the American people some, 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 somehow alphabet or something. Because there's an overrepresentation of them. Jesus Christ, dude. Cool down with the wokeness. And the thing is, that it, you pretty much I can actually guess who the villains are in the show. 
Only white males. There are some white males here and that who seem to be good. But once you see the villain, it's a white male. You see the upcoming white male? Yeah, he's a villain. It's pretty much a telltale. It's kind of like in the 80s. You saw a Russian? Pretty much he was going to be the villain. Hey, it's not that there's anything wrong. We actually had communists to fight in the 80s, you know, Cold War and things like that. But uh, it's just a trope that pretty much tells you everything in the show. Let's hope in the episode 6 they actually improve this because, quite frankly, I'm, being, I'm gonna be honest. It's going to be a chore to actually finish to, up to episode 10. And, uh... If it's anything like the episode 5, it's definitely going to hurt to actually watch 5 more episodes of this. Even more so because it got actually renewed somehow. <sighs> Come on, guys. Try not to go damn I awoke people to do your stuff or at least make sure they are paying attention on that goddamn fucking hell have a great fucking night